guys welcome to a brand new video this is going to be a quick guide on how you can get barrows done and make some money with relatively low stats um, I do it at, on quite a low account a level 85 and I'm just going to walk you through and like not edit this video and you can see exactly how I do it how I get it done I'll explain it all as well this is my setup that I'm going with this is my inventory um, I'm using Slayer Dart so that's why I've got these runes and you also need a range switch as well so you can see that I've got broad bolts and a rune crossbow. The minimum requirements for doing this method I would say would be definitely 60 mage you're going to need that and um, I would recommend at least 50 range although with 50 range it's going to be quite slow. Um, you're going to need a rune crossbow um, for your range setup and because I've got 55 Slayer, I'm using Broad Bolts, but I would recommend if you don't have that, get like Mithril Bolts or something like that, just so that um, we can kill Aram, the mage, because he's weak to range and he's a bit of a beast. But all the other brothers, we're just going to mage him. Um, as I say, I'm using Slayer Dart, which requires the Slayer Staff, which needs 55 Slayer. If you don't have 55 Slayer, then I would recommend that you do the Underground Pass quest so that you can get the Iban Staff and use the Iban Blast. You can replace this armor. Um, this is the setup I'm running with at the moment. This is the best I can go with. You can replace this Sears Ring for a Lunar Ring or a simple Ring of Wealth. Um, the Dragon Defender you can replace with a Rune Kite Shield just so you've got a bit of melee defense. If your prayer drops when you're killing the melee brothers, it's good to have a nice melee um, defender or shield just so that you can um, take a bit of melee damage. You can replace the helm with a standard mystic hat and uh, Zamorak cape. I'd recommend you get it because you need 60 mage to do this anyway. It will help you out a lot. If you don't have a Zamorak cape, you can replace that with anything. You could even bring an Ather's Accumulator so that you'll save your bolts without having to pick them up. So, as I say, this is my setup. You definitely need a spade. I'm using Teleport to Barrows tabs. There's no quest requirements for doing this at all. You can just buy the tabs in the GE, use them straight away. And I'm banking in Camelot because it's quite close to an altar. I'm taking five prayer pots, which would be more than enough. And this is more than enough runes than I'm going to need. That will be enough runes for a good few trips, but I'll just take them anyway. And yeah, let's get going. So we're just going to teleport straight to Barrows. Also, you can replace this Fury with a Glory, I wanted to say, if you want to do a more welfare setup and just improve it as you get your drops. So we're going to dig straight down. I've selected Quick Prayer to melee. Oh, no, I haven't because I was training range. Okay. Glad I checked that. Quick prayer to melee. First one's Darok. You see I ran straight over to the hill, which is just south of where we teleported in. And basically there's a brother under each one of these hills, so it's like a crypt, and you can get into it by digging with your spade. Now, what we got to do is we got to go around to each mound and kill every single brother. Randomly, one of the brothers isn't going to be there. It's different every time. Now, he's basically hiding in a tunnel. When you go into his crypt he won't pop out. Instead it will say you found the tunnel. Now what we want to do is we want to skip that and kill all the other brothers and then go into the tunnel. So we'll go to Darok first. We're going to put our protect from melee on straight away because he can hit quite hard. Now something to bear in mind is your prayer will drain when you're fighting these guys. Whenever you're underground in barrows you can get faces pop up on the screen as you'll probably see in a minute and I'm staff bashing. Not a great start. Okay, there we go. Um, so your prayer will get drained, so you really got to keep an eye on it, especially if you're killing Darok and you're quite low level like me. I'm just in Mystic, so once he gets lower lower health, his Darok uh, set effect basically means he can hit higher, and he can hit pretty damn high, so you've just got to keep an eye on your prayer. Don't let it drop too low, and if it does drop to zero, just quickly click your prayer part, and select your quick prayer um, to get protect from melee on straight away. So that's Darok down, on to the next one. Now what I like to do here, there's basically a hill in this corner, that corner, there's two in the middle, and then there's one in each corner, there and there. 
I like to do Darok first, which is in this northeast corner, but basically because you've got fresh prayer, because you've just come here. And then I like to go to this middle one here, which is Aram. So you need to switch to your range setup. Now Aram does confuse spells, which lower your melee stats, but we're not using melee at all, so we don't need to worry about that. We're just using range and mage. And you need to pot up your prayer so you've got a decent amount, put on protect for mage, and then click on the casket, and Aram will pop up. And we just need to sit back and range him down. Won't take too long because I've got the broad bolts, which do quite a lot of damage, as you can see it's hitting 18s. That's the face popping up on screen, which drains my prayer down a bit. So we're just going to drink another prayer pot to be safe. If your prayer drops, try not to panic. Um, if you're getting hit and you're low on health, the priority is always eat some food. So eat one of your sharks, then click the prayer pot, then click your prayer back on. But if you follow all of these steps, um, Barrows becomes very easy. And once you've done a trip or two, um, it's so simple. Okay, so our prayer just dropped to zero there, but I could see the last shot was going in, so there's no point in wasting a prayer pot. So that's the middle brother done. As you can see on the right here, it tells you which ones you've killed. So we've killed Darok and Aram, just a, as a reminder. If you do them in the same order each time, then you can look at that list, and you can see sort of where you're at, and you can work out um, basically where you are if you're lost, which one you need to do next. So I've just come to the south for the next mound. In here is going to be Carol, which is which uses a range attack. Even though he uses range, Mage is still quite strong against him. Um, I tested it and used melee against him, and this, this Mage spell is a lot better. So we just drop down, recharge our prayer. This time we're going to protect from range. Same thing, click the casket, and Carol pops up. All we've got to do here is just keep an eye on our prayer. As long as our prayer is up, he can't hit us. Carol will hit really hard if you're using the Mystic setup because we are weak to range. So I make sure as soon as my prayer gets down to like level 8 or something like that, um, then that's when I will hit the pot. But he won't KO you straight away. You'll have a couple of seconds. As long as you're paying attention to your screen, you can recover uh, nine times out of ten. And even if you die, you just have to go and get another Barrows teleport, bring your spade, and come down it. You'll have an hour to come back and get your loot, so nothing to worry about. You'll definitely get your stuff here. It's relatively safe. Right, next hill. I was in the south there, and what I've done is I've come and I've run right up into the northwest corner. And in this one, I think we've got Verak. Now, Verak's quite powerful. His set bonus means he can hit through prayer, so we're going to protect from melee anyway, just to negate some of the damage, but he's still going to hit us through that. So we've got to keep an eye on our prayer and our health. So we've just got to hit that prayer pot now, put the protect from melee on, and it's actually a Verak's tunnel. Do you see? He's not here, so we found the tunnel. So we're just going to skip that. We know that's the tunnel. And we're just going to kill off the rest of the brothers. So we come to the south now, to the mound in the southwest corner. And we're going to dig down. And this one's got Torag in, who's pretty easy to kill, but we'll just take a prayer pot. We'll go protect from melee anyway, because as you can see, you can hit 23s. But he's not going to KO you straight away. The max he's going to hit you is probably going to be like something like that in the 20s. So you've got time to eat and put your prayer back on. As you can see, the Slayer Dart absolutely rips these guys apart here, even though I'm only 63 mage. I started as 60 mage here, and you actually get some decent mage XP. I mean, look at this. I'm getting 17,000 mage XP an hour, and I'm not really mage training. I'm just doing Barris. So your stats will level up and your trips will get quicker quite often. I've only done like 30 kill count or 32 kill count here. And that's got me three uh, mage levels and like 
two or three range levels, which is decent. So my prayer's dropped, but I'm not that worried. He's not going to hit that hard. We can finish him off and eat a cheap monkfish. So it's Varric in the tunnel. All we've got left is Guthan, who's down here in the southeast corner. And we'll take him down and put on Protect from Melee. He will hit fairly hard, and every time he hits you, his set bonus means that he can heal himself. So if you've got Protect from Melee on, he can't get hit off and he can't heal himself. So again, just keep an eye on your prayer. Um, it just dropped again because the face popped up. So I'll just pop that up again. And we're chilling. Looks like this guy is doing pretty much the same thing as me. Similar setup. Mystics, but he's replaced the defender with a rune kite shield. As you can see, it's quite effective. Right, so that's all of them done, apart from Varak, who's hiding in the tunnel. So this is the second part of the mini game now, where we head towards the chest. The chest is already loaded now with potential Barrow's loot. Bear in mind that here is your reward potential. You don't need to pay attention to this. All you need to pay attention to is killing these guys. Your reward potential will just increase the amount of runes you can get in your chest. It won't increase your chances for getting a Barrow's item. If you hover over the percentage, you can see that that is illustrated here. Percentage towards uh, maximum potential rewards does not include unique Barrow's items, basically armors and weapons. So, we're going to go down into the tunnel now. Uh, we've got no prayer, and basically at any point in the tunnel, up until us getting the chest, our brother's going to pop out. So this time I've got Verak. You might have a different brother, so you have to prepare for it. And Verak is a melee, so we've got our mage set up already out and ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the tunnel to get to the chest, and when he pops out, I'm just going to very quickly hit a prayer pot and then go protect from melee and then we can just kill him and then it's just a matter of getting to the chest. Before I go down there, um, it's set out basically in like a grid. So th there's like a couple of rooms on each side in a square and your chest is always in the middle. Some of the doors are locked though. If you hover your mouse over a door, you can see whether it's locked or not. Basically, um, there's a little... Um, in the top left hand corner it will say open door if it's a locked door it won't have that option so you can just look around you'll see me look around with my map and hover on the doors so I can see which ones are open you've basically just got to find an open route to the middle room and that's it before you get into the middle room the last door will have a puzzle now you'll be getting attacked by melee from stuff in the room so what you need to do is kind of kite it away so you've got time to solve the puzzle this will take a bit of practice to start off with and if you're having trouble with that solving the puzzle in time before you get hit because you're in combat then i would recommend you actually kill the monster and then do the puzzle because every time you get hit it closes the puzzle and you don't have time to answer it and the puzzle changes there's only like four or five different puzzles you can get so I would recommend that you go onto another guide page and have a look at all the answers for the puzzles beforehand and just sit with um, sit and just memorize them until you know them. They're quite simple. Um, they're all just different symbol puzzles. Just remember the four different symbols and then when you get that puzzle you can just answer it quickly. But without further ado, let's go and get this chest. So we're going on to the hill where there wasn't the brother. We're going to click on the chest and it's saying, do you want to enter the tunnel? Yes, we want to enter the tunnel. Right, so you can see I've spawned here. I'm having a look around already and you can see by rotating my camera, I can see over the walls. Now you see that there, that's what you're looking for, the, um, the fires. That's basically the middle room. That's where our chest is going to be and you can see it there, open chest. If I hover over this door, there's no open option, but if I hover over this door, there's an open option. So I know I can go through there, and this is probably the way. So I just click through these doors, and you can see that's the reward room there that we're heading towards. 
but we can't get in this door because it's not an open door. So we'll try the next one round. And we'll just eat some monkfish while we're, while we're running through because we will be taking a bit of damage. And this door will open. That's the reward room. We're just following it round in a square as you can see. And this door won't open into it either. So we just keep following it round and we come to another dead end. So that basically means that the door is on that side or that side because we've checked this side and that side and we'll have to run back the other way until we get the door into the middle. It's quite simple, it's quick to run through and yeah, you just keep running around the other sides until we get to the open door to the middle. Okay, I don't know what's happened here. I've missed a door because I've come back to the where we started and there weren't any options to open. So I do apologise. This is like the longest I've ever spent down here. But it's realistic to the kind of scenario that you might face when you're down here. It's all about not panicking. Just keep an eye on your health. Eat, eat some food every now and again. These don't hit too hard and I'm in Mystic. So really not that bad. So that door will open. So I'm just retracing my steps, going back around the middle room. And this door that I didn't think would open, would open. So I could have done it a bit earlier. And there's the open door to the middle. When you click on the door, you'll get a puzzle, as I say. So what I'm doing is I'm under attack here. So I'm kiting it away from the door. And then I'm running to the door and that will give you a split second to solve the puzzle. I already know the answer so I managed to click it. That will open the door and as you can see Verux popped up. So we're just going to eat, prayer pot and then put on protect from melee. And then this will be quite an easy one to kill. Um, Verak can hit me through my prayer, so I've just got to keep an eye on my HP as well. As you can see, he hit quite hard there. And my prayer just got drained out, so we hit the prayer pot, get the prayer back on. Nothing to worry about. The only time you'll have problems here is if you're panicking or you're not paying attention. So once this last brother's killed, we'll go into the main room. If you haven't killed the last brother by now, he may actually be hiding in the chest. So get ready for him to pop out <laughs> if you open the chest. It might not necessarily be over yet, but we've killed all the brothers now. And um, yeah, click on the chest and we'll get our reward. Hopefully we get a piece. It's a 1 in 16 chance of getting a Barrow's item, and some of them are quite tasty. So let's see what we get. Absolutely nothing this trip. But Barrows is one of these things that you've just got to stick with. If you keep doing it, you will make bank. And what I do is I come to Camelot on my teleport tab. And then I run to the bank to resupply. And I'll show you the reason why I'm using Camelot in a second. One of the reasons is Camelot teleports are cheap. So we'll just put them two in the bank. Put the empty pots in and then resupply so that we've got five prayer pots. I put the monks back in and then take five out. Sharks for the rest and that's it. We're fully resupplied. Then we just run to the south where there's an altar and that will give us full prayer points to do Darok again. And it's just like a continual loop. So we hit the prayer altar and that's it, you can start another trip and teleport straight back to Barrows and start Darak again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll probably do another video on this once I'm higher level with different gear and I can show you like a melee setup which is a lot quicker for higher levels. But this is just intended for low levels using mage and range. Hope you found it useful. Alright guys, peace.